Oh, this is Lance Johns. Um, I wanted to talk about something good that John, Donald Trump has did. But I, I hope uh, people will not, in my opinion, I hope people don't vote for him. But I know people are because they like somebody who's a bigot, my opinion. But, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me. But this story comes out of Washington, D.C. From midweek Wednesday, Donald Trump Tuesday signed a pardon for John D. Ponder, a former bank robber who founded a home for prisoners in the Las Vegas organization that helps criminal offenders re enter the workforce, family life, and society. Joining a pardon in the White House, she received a pardon with Richard Beachley, the former FBI agent. Excuse me, uh, I'm just, uh, Scratching my leg, sorry. Yeah, Richard Beasley, who the former FBI agent, who arrested Ponder for the bank robbery in Pahrump and Ponder's wife Jamie, before signing the pardon. Trump recalled meeting Ponder <clears throat> and Beasley as the two men appeared together at a. One second. <clears throat> they met, um, hold on. Let's see. Oh, uh, they, they met together at the Rose Garden in celebration of the National Day of Prayer 2018. <clears throat> Lonnie and the two friends saying, Your story reminds us that prayer changes hearts and, and transfers lives. It lifts the soul, inspires action, and unites us as one, as one nation under God. So important. I bet uh, Trump probably uh, asked the guy to vote for him. I've both of me I'll pardon you. Probably what he did, probably bribed him. <clears throat> In a videotape inside the White House before the the Republican National Convention conveyed its second night with a theme Land Opportunity. Trump pledged to give all Americans, including former inmates, the best chance to build a new life and give your own American dream. It was a moment that checked off several boxes, central to Trump campaign agenda. And Trump and his guests appeared, people faced the, the black community, law enforcement, and the violence. Ponda, a three-time felon, recall how he determined what he, that when he got out of prison, he would turn his life around. We live in a nation of second chances. Ponda says he thanked the Metro Police Department members who volunteered at that time to help the whole prison participants. My hope for Americans is that law enforcement and people in the communities across the country can come together and realize that as Americans we have more in common than we have di differences, Ponder said. Ponder's uh, attorney, Priscilla um, Wildveld, <clears throat> Praise the president, pardon is, is rare. A pardon is something that, that does not happen. And, and a president pardon is even more rare, she said. In a statement text to her pardon. It's John um, Pondus attorney and the one who petitioned president advocated and secured the pardon for John. 
I wish I was able to be president as this is a tremendous career high. Partner received a congressional pardon from March, from the Vice Department Board in March. When they first met 15 years ago, Beach recalled that partner was angry, scared, frustrated, and anxious about his future on the way to prison. He stopped. Uh, he stopped at a, at a convenience store and bought Pondok a coffee and donut. Beasley um, one second. Beasley now president. Uh, okay. Beasley, not president of Global Intelligence Network, also thank Trump for the strong support for law enforcement before you know it that separate American law enforcement officers out of the field second guess sentences and unsupported for just doing their jobs. Trump also spoke and hope for prisoners graduation ceremony for the extra offenders in February. Last time he was in Las Vegas. Elephant Trump mused about Graham Ponder, who served his, his fellow sentence at full pardon. They would recognize Ponder's transformation and restore his rights. Alice Marie Johnson, a federal drug fan who sends uh, who sends Trump commu uh, communion uh, in 2008 would speak at a convention. Thirty nine ahead of Trump's speech or something that we now mention. Okay, um we'll speak at a convention Thursday night ahead of Trump speech accepted renomination for a second term in the White House. The event began with a prayer by another Las Vegas Patrick Normal uh Yubarazzo for the International Church of Las Vegas who spoke for the Andrew W. Miller attorney in Washington, D.C. <clears throat> I really don't want to do this part because I just did the story just now. I really don't want to do this part because it has nothing to do with him. This is Trump, of course. This is, uh, John Ponder to the left, Ponder's wife uh, t to the right, and and Richard Beasley behind Trump and behind his wife. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to do this story. I really don't want to. Because this has nothing to do with Trump, but... <clears throat> Pastor Norma Ibarazzo opened with a prayer, recognizing her communities in Wisconsin tonight, offer a healing and comfort to Jacob Blake and his family, reference to a black man who, who was shot in Kenosa, uh, Wisconsin, by the police department. Uh, shot in the back as he was arrested by the police, put protection over those who put their lives in harm and to bring safety and security over our streets. The police do protect us, but they they need to do stuff for the right reason. They shouldn't kill people because of a power trip. Paralyze people for the rest of their life. They can't walk again, or... It, just, it don't make sense for police to be doing that. And, like... 
killing people, when you arrest them, you kill them. Unless, I mean, I can see you killing a person if, 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 they're, if they're like robbing somebody, they have a gun and they don't listen to you, you have to shoot them. Or they run for you, you have to shoot them. Or something like that, you know, like if somebody... If somebody's robbing a place or they, or they have hostages or something, I can see you killing a person. Like a robbery or something, or like hostages. Something like that where they're putting people's lives in danger. I can see you killing a person if you're a policeman. But routine traffic stop, unless... Unless a person, you know, tries to shoot you or something, and you know they have a gun for real, you you can kill them or something. Or something like that, yeah. But just stop somebody, they have no gun, and you just shoot them. That's not right at all. But back to the story. Um, it was a sign that Trump team intended to handle the shooting call. Cautiously, Attorney General uh, William Barr said that the Department of Justice would investigate the, the confrontation which caught on video. Democrat nominee Joe Biden released a statement on, on a blank shooting Monday that said, and this morning the nation wakes up yet again with grief and outrage that another black America is a victim of such a force. This calls for immediate uh, and for a transparent investigation as officers must be held accountable. Your Basso, who is a, a Mexican immigrant, attend a, a round table event with his man passing at the White House. But she told the president, I am I am an immigrant from Mexico. Also a daughter of an immigrant from Mexico and I just want you to know that you have not only my support but the support of our community. This month Trump named her husband Pastor Pasquale Urbaso, a member of the President Advisory a Commission of Hispanic Prosperity. I don't care what you do, Trump, I'm still not voting for you. But uh, this is the story. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for listening. Hit above notifications. Comment below. See something, say something. Don't be afraid to speak out. Watch that out your hands. Um, sit the social distance. Wear a mask. Don't be a hoarder. Think about others. Again, Lance Johns. Lance Johns is driving with Love Me More, baby. Thanks for listening. Have a good day. Bye.